So I'm hearing, again, the, the horse hooves, many of them, many of them coming across. Coming this direction. I, I, I think so. I think they're coming across this way. Yes. Um, that would be accurate. Why would... Why would someone be under the bridge almost um, as though they have been left behind? Is that correct? Something like that. There could be something else as well, but I won't say no, yet. No, don't, don't tell me, but it feels as though, uh, as I'm hearing, and again, maybe this is like a little blown with the wind influence, so I don't know, but I'm hearing the horses coming across the bridge, but then there they are... hiding? And hiding under the bridge. Yeah, it's secrecy. Sure. Does that make sense? Oh, that makes great sense for this location. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you. I think you've really hit on something for okay. this location. All right. And they would have been actually ahead of the army until the army caught up. So there's not enough of them for a sneak attack, I don't think. But uh, maybe they're informants or spies also. That's a possibility. Okay. We're showing up next. Into the group. I have to tell you that I feel a sense of foreboding about the dream and space. If um, in modern times people have had unusual experiences in the bridge, I feel as though there's something very dark and heavy here yes. that has not transitioned to where it needs to be. This is not a bridge that you would want to cross um, at nighttime <laughs> by yourself. There's something very heavy here, and again, I'm feeling a little nauseated. What do you mean by something very heavy? Something, uh, a very heavy, um, nefarious, toxic energy. So I'm not, I don't know what went down in here, but it, it's very unpleasant. I have to that tell you. Is it coming from inside the bridge? Mm -hmm. And up in the rafters. I can't uh, promise we're going to go very far, but... someone was um, murdered or executed in here. Do you have any knowledge of that? Shot. Yes. Shot. Someone was shot. Possibly. Executed. I can't verify that. And yeah, this showed. I mean, if you find something other than the Civil War, that's great. This bridge has been here since the 1850s. Thoughts of harming one's self or others. 
I don't think that the energy itself could cause harm, but it could cause someone to harm themselves or others. I feel as though this space has also, since the era in which we're focusing on, has since been the site of a lot of really shady activity. Yes. Really, it, so it, it actually uh, attracts to it um, people who are not very nice people because of the, the type of energy that it is. Those are the rumors and those are the stories that we hear. Wow. And you're, you're right on top I of those rumors and stories. And I just have to <laughs> virtually verify these rumors and stories. I just have to reinforce for anyone that might be watching our video that I had no knowledge of this no. space whatsoever. I didn't even know we were coming here. No, you did not. And it's, it's like you read a book. Is there a book on the bridge? No. No? Okay. So I would not be surprised if there have been um, murders here. I would not be surprised if there have been drug deals here. I would not be surprised if there was worse uh, suicides and rapes and things of that nature. It just feels... It's just a horrible place. It, thank you. That's the way it feels. And so I think that whatever happened here to, to set that in motion continues to attract to it um, low level energy in, in people, C criminal type people. Are you sensing one, one energy source? Is it one thing? That's an interesting Is question. Multiple things? Uh, um, well, it, layers keep being added to it. With, with every untoward, unethical activity that occurs here, it contributes to the, the vile nature. And I, need, I really mean that. That word, vile, that's what I'm feeling, and we're about halfway, it's the center. I don't know what it is about the center of this bridge, but it feels so heavy. And um, it's just, it's very unpleasant. I still feel nauseated. And for some reason, I feel like I can't bring myself to, to continue the rest of the way. So again, I don't know if this is making any sense based upon your knowledge, but um, it's just a, it's an awful, it's, uh, and it's so it's unfortunate because it's from the outside it's a pretty <laughs> it's a pretty um, historical site and it's right on the, the stream but uh, man in here it is really heavy and again I'm feeling nauseated I'm feeling weak in the knees I'm feeling a little lightheaded something does not want us here and this thing send messages to people I mean it's sending a message it can get to in their right head now. it can get in their head. In your and it's right actually, now. well, I, I have a lot of protection. <laughs> I have a lot of protection, so it's not going to be influencing me in that way. But for people unaware, and for people who are already predisposed to being um, bad people, this is like a magnet. There was one day we took off, I don't, I thought you don't think this was so I don't. I, for some reason, I don't feel comfortable going the rest of the way. I don't know what happened down at that end in particular. Do you know? My sister didn't care. I have an idea. Down at that end in particular. Uh, but I feel like this is the line of demarcation, and I'm not comfortable going any further. <laughs> okay. Is that all right with you? Yes. All right. Whatever you're comfortable with. And I mean, you're telling me a lot just by not wanting to go any further. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And some of them are in your places. And the place like that. I think my knees would buckle. I think it would just be so overwhelming. And it's interesting because I don't feel as though it is all necessarily connected to the, the Civil War. I don't think it is. It's something that happened later. I, agree, I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Generally, can a Ouija board cause anything? Oh, absolutely. It's like throwing out a welcome mat. Is there such so a before we started doing anything, what did we do? Yeah. We joined hands and we said a prayer and we set intentions for our time together. And I have been prepping all morning prior to even driving here so that we are protected in this. There's a reason for that. So even though I'm feeling physical symptoms of being very, very uncomfortable here, I know that I am well protected spiritually. 
And anybody who's watching this, this is information that you absolutely have to know. Yeah. So the Ouija board effect is you just are very careless and reckless, and there are ill-intended energies that will masquerade as something that they're not. They will masquerade as something very benevolent in order to gain trust. It's the art of seduction. Is there and such then they're going to reel you in, and then the tables turn. I've seen it many times. Is there such a thing as a portal? Sure. Sure. What's going to happen? Wa water is the conductor. What's going to have to happen for this energy to leave? It's it. Uh, it is going to be highly resistant. Highly resistant. Uh, extremely stubborn. It is entrenched in this space. Is it and entrenched I don't, in the I don't, I don't building? Know. Yeah. Bridge? Well, it, and also in the um, in the I want to say soil below us, which is the stream. But it's entrenched in this. It has uh, staked its claim. It has staked its claim and its territorial rights to this space, I'm being told to say. And I don't know that there are enough people who would realize that there's something here that should bounce. <laughs> so it's continuing to draw people in, especially, you know, after the sun goes down. Yes. There's, there's some, yeah, thank you. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. Uh, I would not be shocked if there have been reports uh, of te uh, teenagers or young people yeah. hightailing it out of here because they saw something winged on the roof. Do you know anything about that? Similar things, yes. I do. Yeah, that's interesting. All righty. I'm seeing something uh, black with wings on top of the roof here. And it Inside or outside? Outside. And it is sending a very strong signal, a very strong communication just by its presence there. Yeah. So there are probably local rumors or local stories circulating among uh, kids. You know, this thing could only be like decades old. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. About 40 to 50 really? years. About 40 Somebody to 50. opened up something and allowed it in? Is that how it works? So I don't know if somebody was experimenting. I don't know if somebody was conducting some kind of ritual, a sacrifice of some sort. I don't know. This is not a good space. But I'm I'm seeing from the vantage point of your vehicle, looking up at the roof and seeing this thing crouched there with its black. Somebody has seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can you get a or it? Of or its physical manifestation of what it's going to use to intimidate. In other words, the communication is get out of here, stay out. Can you stay actually out. hear anything? I can't hear anything. Energy? I can't. Well, no. I, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I don't want to entertain that. But I am, again, from the vantage point of where you're parked, I am seeing the top of the roof of this thing perched there. Does it see you? This is not real time, so I'm seeing it as they would have seen it. The kids would have right. seen it. And it's sitting there, like right on the edge of the roof here. And they're like, what the hell is that? They're looking at it, and then it opens its wings. Oh, and they're like, can the Yeah, I, this must be a popular destination around Halloween time. Very. That's I've been here many times in October. Oh, well, okay. that night. This is the last time. <laughs> I have photos. This is the last time. Okay. Because um, I brought my daughter fishing over here on oh the creek. Oh, my Lord. Well, during the day, I think along the creek is okay. But right here is, it's not good stuff. But there is something that is as I said, violently territorial about this space. And it has absolutely set up shop here. I wish I could tell you how much you've hit on things here today. Well, you can. It's, well, it's been incredible. Here? 
Are we done? If we're not going to go we're to the, the bridge, of the we're done. <laughs> so you can let's debrief then. What what did we get right? For the battle, the Army of the Potomac, um, a couple of corps came down through on this road right here, so undoubtedly they camped here. Mm -hmm. So they were going toward the battlefield, which is over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. They were going toward the battle, so guys would be really nervous. Yes. Worried. They don't know what to head. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be Confederate spies out around here, mm -hmm. on horse, not on horse, and you saw that. And then after the battle, this was one of the Confederates' main avenues of retreat. They crossed this bridge, headed down that road. So you got the Union Army of the Potomac mm -hmm. in these woods, mm -hmm. camping out before yes. the battle. Yes. You got the Confederate Confederates mm -hmm. retreating after the battle, mm -hmm. and the rumor is, as the rumor is, that there were three Confederate deserters. Interesting. Deserters. They were the ones hiding under the bridge. That's what I would think. Yes, because I said I believe I said it was very few, yep. very few. Mm -hmm. Yep. Isn't that and there have been many tales over the years of this entity, this energy that you picked up You've on. You've got to be kidding. No, and again I get chills because of these these stories that you can read of people's encounters here. Um, so you've hit on everything. That's amazing. You just have hit on everything. Amazing. You did. Alrighty. Bravo. Yeah. I'm, I can't believe it. Particularly you hit on this, I guess we aren't saying evil, but this dark. It's pretty darn close to evil if it's not evil. <laughs> because there have been stories about this one specific thing. Here. Here. Isn't that something? And you know, yep. you, you, you read some of these things and you go, oh, I don't know if I believe that or not, but then you come here and, and you, you say it. And you don't know where we are. You didn't know we were coming here. You nailed the Civil War. You nailed before the battle. You nailed after the battle. You nailed post-Civil War. You did it. Isn't that something? Incredible. It is amazing. Alrighty. Well, I guess we can wrap up here then. Okay. Yes? We're done. All right. Honey, take my picture. There's something on my back. Oh Lord! And we looked, and there wasn't. We didn't see anything on her back. And he took a picture and showed it to us. And there was this big cloud of mist oh, on her Lord. back. Oh my Lord! Hmm. I. Uh, I don't know if it got reported. I can't think that it would have been in the paper. But there's a bunch of kids out here, and they're like, "What the hell is that up there?" And it's this black shape, and then it's like it opens its wings and they're like, holy shit, get out of here. Yeah. And this is one of the most haunted spots in Gettysburg. It's not haunted. There is something that has staked a claim here. So I don't, I don't want to say haunting in the sense of um, a human soul that hasn't transitioned. It's bigger than that. It's mm -hmm. something really heavy and nefarious. That That's has, beyond haunting. Yeah. O almost like a possession type of situation. It's called one of the ten most haunted bridges in the United States. I guess, I don't know what else it's called. We need another word for more nefarious stuff. Probably would be a little more accurate. One of the most evil places in Gettysburg and one of the most evil bridges and the most evil energy sites. Yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, want to use the word evil, but that might capture it. It's definitely something that does not want people through here. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it could take action to prevent people or to get people out of here. It, well, it, you know, it shows itself. It, um, it may cause people to have flats. It may cause people to get sick and vomit. Like I, would, you know, like I was feeling like my knees were weak and I was you know, a little nauseated. Um, you know, lots of ways that it could keep people clear here. Can a human being get rid of it? Can't get rid of I it? I don't think one person could get rid of it. It might go dormant or be in remission for a period of time, but then I think it's so powerful. It's been here a long time. It'll come right back. You know what? It is something that actually goes back to... 
this energy. It's a German thing. feeds right into that negativity. And I think yeah. if that happened, it happened on the other side of the bridge. Wow, where I didn't want to go mm -hmm. to. Yeah. <laughs> and in the grass and in the trees over there. That's where I've so been told I, that I'm, it happened. I'm actually seeing uh, a cat hanging from a tree over there. So there's an explanation for what you're feeling. Yeah, Alrighty. Okay. Let's head out. How are you doing on different feel. I would I wouldn't doubt it. I, I have it. This is my first time here. I took pictures. I mean at during the day but at night it was real Completely eerie. Different. Thank you. And I had orbs. I I had actually pictures of orbs on my pictures. I'm yes. not surprised. It takes a whole different feel at night. Well, All together different. That's why because would the energy care whether it's night or day. Because I don't know. Be, I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> because I, t I have this conversation with people about their own homes. Because it is the absence of light. Light illuminates the truth. Now you're talking about bringing something into the light of day, the phrase, there's a reason for that. You know, because everything gets illuminated with clarity. So that's why I kept saying, as soon as the sun goes down, it's a whole different ball game. Mm -hmm. Did you capture that, Gail, what she was saying? You did? almost feel like I want her permission. I want to use anything I may have said. Did you use your name? Yeah, that's fine. Just my name is all you need. Just, if you just want to say, I, 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 whatever your name is, give you permission to use my statement. Oh, I'm okay. I'm probably going to put it up on your That's fine. Uh, my name is Linda Aiken, and I give you permission for what validate and said that Saks Bridge for the day is part of the day.